so we're here with uh, Mark Flores car reviews and right here we have a Hyundai Genesis <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys. I got another car review. Let me go ahead and introduce the owner real quick. Right here I got my boy Jerry. What do we got Jerry? Hi, so my name is Jerry Escamilla. Coming off from Artesia, California. So we got our 2015 Genesis Coupe 3.8 Ultimate. Six speed mountain transmission. This is my actually second Genesis. I had a 2013 uh, Genesis Coupe 2.0 Turbo, you know. I guess I had a downgrade, you know, the 2.0 is a little better, so, you know, for all the 2.0 owners, y'all good. Y'all winning right now, y'all winning. So, uh, was this Hyundai's first attempt at the performance market? You know what, actually, Hyundai attempted their first appointment. Okay, I should me up. Hyundai attempted their performance line at, with their Hyundai Tiburon, and it didn't really do too well, like, yeah, it was like a total flop. But then uh, I want to say the Genesis Coupe came out before the Velosters, or, or maybe around the same time. But yeah, the Genesis Coupe was like their, they like mastered their performance line. And you know, th there was a BK1 that came out. It had some uh, little like flops too. It was really like a front, uh, weird front design. A lot of people like it, but um, this is the BK2. BK2 was a refresh design. So they added the bigger grill, these fake hood vents you know hyundai could have done a little better than that but you know it, it is what it is they added the uh, what's cool about the genesis coupe they they, they went on out with it especially with the ultimate uh, trim which is the one i have here so they added the brembo brakes you got the pretty badass sport wheels the lsd in it and then you had two uh, options with the leather you have either tan i call it like a caramel or you have the black and then like i said the many other years they came in different colors too like my black one had a red leather but you know, Hyundai do, does their thing and they, they mastered it with their BK2. I, I, my opinion, my personal opinion, other other people, other uh, Genesis owners will say otherwise, but my opinion, I like the BK2. And uh, what kind of cars were they targeting to compete against? They were tar targeting uh, for the Mustang, the 370, and I believe it was their the three, BMW 3 Series Coupes, the, like the 335i, the 325i Coupes, but I, for sure, the 370Z and the Mustang and you know I chose this personally because I, I like the three I'm a Nissan guy personally I've worked for them you know as you can tell and uh, I like the uh, 370Z's I can't do two seats only because as you know the 370Z is only a two-seater roadster I need back seats because I have a big dog and I, I, I tend to throw a lot of stuff in the space and you know a sedan would be good for me but I can't escape the yeah. coupe light. All right, guys. So we have a 2015 Hyundai Genesis Ultimate package. What does the Ultimate package include? So we, you know, there was many different packages. Like a buddy of mine has like the base model, which you, you don't basically. Which separates some is the Brembo brakes, the 19-inch wheels. And I, I believe they are an offset. You do get uh, your choice of leather seats, black or I don't know the specific color. I just call them caramel, caramel brown or something. And then you have the option of a six-speed and uh, your or automatic. So I think it was a seven-speed automatic. And the ultimate came with everything. The I want to say I think it was like the touring had too. It has the infinity speed upgraded speakers, so you know you got nice speakers for clear quality. You got touchscreen. You do got navigation in this, and also you have the LSD included in it. And you get the sunroof. What do we got going on back here? How do you feel about this rear end? So the rear end is actually like my favorite part of the car, especially with this track wing. And you can only get this track wing in the ultimate package. And I don't know, just everything, when you just see it, the tail lights, they just look badass. Like they make upgraded tail lights for this, but it's like, why waste them when these, these are just beautiful enough as it is. And I just, you know, when they came, I, th this is actually an upgraded exhaust. They don't come quad tip. The stock exhaust is just kind of like a weird, like kind of indents in the car. But I upgraded an ISR race exhaust to be exactly super loud and uh, sounds great. Like that has a nice purr to it. The wing, just the way the wing kind of like flows with the car's lines, like the detail, and also it flows with the tail lights. It's just Hyundai like really went all out in this car. I'm kind of disappointed they haven't made one yet again, but I do know that I think one is in the making. So hopefully it's a little even better than what they already like right. perfected right here. In addition to the wing, it's very tastefully done. It's simple, not overkill. 
Exactly. But like, there's some wings. Like, one wing I do like that is overkill, but I, I kind of like is the STI wing. So like. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to have that wing. Exactly. And the Type R wing, that's a little overkill, but yeah. you just have to have it because it's Type R. Exactly. But this is just like perfect. I just my old Genesis. I had a little di uh, duck lip, and it was okay. It was pretty cool. But the track wing is just beautiful. Really All right, so let's go ahead and check the engine out. Gotcha. So, you know, what we got going under here is uh, the 3.8, 348 gas direct in injected uh, engine, little monster right here under the hood. I did upgrade the intake to an AEM cold air intake, I believe, yeah, that was that was called. I was going to go with the short ram, but I did that on my last one. That was more like, you know, I heard, I follow this guy, you know, he's a 3.8 performance. He told me like a, a cold air intake would be better than a short ram. So I went with the AEM. That was the most expensive one you can get at the, in the market right now. I think it was about like $340, $340. And I haven't done much besides the intake, but... I just love how it looks, you know, I know this is plastic, but it adds like a great touch to the engine bay. Nice headlights, you know, they look really dope at night. Like you just know from like when they're at, when they're lit up at night and you see them from behind, you know what car it is already. Like, you know, okay, that's the Genesis group behind me. If you touch it, it's pretty cold. All right, now for the best part. Let's go for a driving portion. Right, uh, so I'll just, you're gonna be in the back right next? No, I'm gonna sit right here and I'll record you guys while you're driving. Oh, yeah, perfect! <laughs> <laughs> the same kind of like speed limit you're going I'm trying to like remember what it was because i fully don't understand it myself but i know how to do it so basically to do it i usually do it from like third to third to second so i'm gonna do it right now for you so i'm in third right now so as soon as i shift and i'm in neutral i rev the car while still shifting so it's hard to explain so it's like see it's hard, it's super hard to explain. And when I first was learning it, my friend was like explaining it to me and I was like, okay, like that sounds weird, but I, I, I got it. You just gotta like time it, it's all timing. So basically, you know when you did it right, when you downshift, so this is a normal downshift, watch. You see how I slowed down? So I'm gonna show you a rep match. See how I didn't slow down? That it saves like time. It feels very laggy right now. Alright, so the drive of the Genesis Coupe is really great. I love it. I actually upgraded the suspension. So I'm running Tane uh, Basis Z coilovers. And I have it about like a two inch gap. I don't want to be too low, but uh, I love them. Like, so far, I've taken from Zopinga Canyon, I've just been on the road. They're the perfect coilovers to just like your everyday use. Even when it, they, they're really good when it comes to the Canyon too. I, I could have gone better, but I didn't want to spend up to like a thousand, two thousand dollars of coils for something like I'm not going to track these. Because like, to be honest, I probably won't even take this car to the track. Maybe like if I do like once every two years, if that's like the case. But I kind of looks like daily driving it. But, um, Drive is good, I love it. Uh, one thing that Genesis, the Hyundai couldn't, I guess, perfect was the manual transmission. It is kind of clunky here and there. It's it's smooth, but like I said, there's some times where it's just really like, eh, kind of like, when you compare it to like a WRX, and you compare it to the, especially like the Honda shifting, or even like the Nissan, it's like, yeah, they kind of like trump their manuals, but it's, it's good, you know, it's still like worth getting. Like a lot of people, because because of that, we'll choose an automatic over a manual Genesis, and I'm like, nah, like it doesn't bother me that much. It's like that's not like you know, 
But other than that, it's just, I love the ride. It's real-wheel drive. It takes corners really good. You know, it, the car kind of feels heavy here and there, but it mostly feels light on its feet, especially when you put coil over on it. Okay, so as we all know, this pretty nice Genesis comes with a sunroof right here, as you can see. I'm trying to get a good shot on video, but my hat blew off. So now we're on a mission to go find it. I didn't even think you had a hat on. I didn't even see a hat. I'm so mad. But now we're going to go look for it. I'm upset now. Bro, I just forgot. We're, we're on a mission now, and we're in a cannon. Why not? And it's pitch black, so just keep that in mind. Uh, when I play this song, I turn to a different person. On that, Mark. Dude, I, look at my smile. Dude. So if you could just like, comment, subscribe, Mark Flores' is car reviews. I just love the sound of this exhaust. What kind of exhaust is it again? It's an ISR race. Wow. You, like it's just so loud. What do you think about it, Nick? I think this is the fastest car. Mark's floor is his car reviews. I think so too. <laughs> and I think it's the most fun too. Let's go ahead and hear that again. Back there, hold you on. You found the hat? Go get it. Yeah. I it's on. It's on like the middle of the strip. Okay. Yeah. All right, Nick, come with uh, me. We almost stopped looking for it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my. Jerry lives up. I know. Yeah. So. Oh my God, dude, this is scary. Yeah, so it's pretty dark out here. Um, it, watch me turn off the flash. This is what we see, guys. And then there's the Genesis. But uh, Nick lost his hat here, and we were trying to find it. Let's go, Mom. Can you it is it right there? Oh, that's not it. That's a tire. Oh, oh it it's is my hat. You got sweet. <laughs> I got Put it. it on. Thank you guys for looking for my hat. Yep. Was that it? Yeah, fucking dead. Alright guys, so that's gonna be today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Special thanks to Jerry. Special thanks to Nick. What the fuck? My hat got ran over. <laughs> <laughs> <It's freaking laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Jerry's car sounds like. <laughs>